Yes, it's another whiskey mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Viva. Welcome everybody. Um, let's let's get the viscometer going. No, shall we do it first? No, we'll chat a little bit first. A couple of things to get through. I think we have to explain why Brookladdy Classic Laddie is not where we said it was going to be on the top shelf. Because <laughs> we always do a bit of post-show extra tasting, don't we? And of I course... I'm good. Um... Oh yeah, your seat's... <laughs> Keep a seat's broken. <laughs> and hang on, is it locked? Technical technical chair issues. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> See if Deepa sinks down during the show. <laughs> of course, we had to compare it to the Isle of Barley, which is our favourite one, the 2007. We did actually like it better. But we, we preferred the Aaron 18. And so we've ended up with it down here. Just so you know. <laughs> and I'm asking for Aaron 18. Oh, 120. Step of the price. Yeah. But I hope everyone saw Martin's uh, video of the Japanese whiskey shop, Whiskey Lovers. That was great. Thanks, Martin, for sending us the video. It's always, it's so much fun to see another country's whiskey shops. Oh, and last week's episode with the Wombles, we got a copyright strike from YouTube for having the Wombles play. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I've switched off all advertising now anyway. But I did reinstate, I think, Super Chat might be reinstated. So if everybody wants to test it, you go right ahead. Okay, we should probably introduce the bottle. We are going to be blind tasting bottle number 179. Pick, pick by me on behalf of Okwami. <laughs> And I've got it here in the viscometer. We'll get that going and then we'll get the clock going. So let's see, where's our viscometer camera? It's a cold, it's a cold day today. And so it was going a little slower and off we go. Right, for the next. And it's snowy in Donabar. It's snowing, it is cold. It is definitely cold. Oh, I meant to say, Jerome, if this is Fireball, I'm going to be going and buying some Fireball. But seeing as we've never bought it, it can't be. But you never know. <laughs> Good haircut, Phil. Jimmy Leg. You know, oh, it's like looking in the mirror. <laughs> you know, I, I only ever shaved with clippers and I just kind of kept going. <coughs> Got excited. Right. Have we? Oh, I've already started the clock. For the next 12 minutes, we will nose it, taste it, rank it on the shelf, compare it to some others. Now we are blind tasting number 179 out of about 300 bottles. And you can see each week we're slowly clearing, but there's still 130-ish to go. Oh, the Unibar row at the bottom. Yeah, I'm starting to clear out the row. Yesterday's glass though. I have to say, I'm quite excited about this one. I'm deep assume, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Leg, testing. Thanks so much for the samples. Oh, great, Jimmy, you got your samples. Fantastic. Now, um, I'm excited about this one. And Deepa was kind of slightly grumpy about it. But there's a slight, let me try the other glass. There's a slight dirty raisins um, char now. But, um, gum. Bit of, Deepa kept saying bubblegum, but I haven't got, my I haven't got it. A, a bubble gum. But I think it could be a sweet sherry. Okay, let's pour something. Okay. Well, not so big bubbles, but there is quite a bit of colour to that, isn't there? So, off, off the start here. There is something dirty. Yeah, a little dirty, but sherry as well, mm. presumably. And the colour would, would suggest that. Let's go to the bubbleometer. Let's see, how are we doing on the viscometer? That's fine. You know, I've noticed when, when, oh, Indian Pete head, test number two. <laughs> I'll have to come back to give you some coins. <laughs> Thanks very much, Indian Pete. Tests are now successful. 
You don't have to. It's okay. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bubbles. Pretty light. Could it be 40? 43? Or 46? Yeah, you see, when we're in the... When we're in the 46 or lower range, they all look very similar. So it's it's hard to tell. <laughs> Super chat works again, Sasha. <laughs> yes, it does. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, if you don't know Indian P. Ted, your name's going in here for a, you know, a drawing later on. I think everyone else knows. So, 46, 43, possibly a 40. ABV, possibly sherry. How are the legs? The viscometer. Let's have a look at the legs while we think about the viscometer. Looks fairly thin there, doesn't it? What's that false graph? If you would not switch the viscometer, yeah, yeah especially when I forget about it. Okay, here we go. We're we're running out now, and. Right about 10. Oh, that's actually the same. Yeah, that's the same. So uh, when I say the same, it's the same as the 40% vodka. vodka. It's the same. So it's exactly the same viscosity as 40% uh, vodka. Maybe that's about the fat with no bubbles. Well, when it's thinner, I did quickly look at the chart before and the, the higher viscosity whiskies have been around 50 to 53 percent ABV and um, there aren't many 46 or lower which are they're, they're all pretty low viscosity you can have a look there's a link in if you look in the blind results link then you will find it okay dirty sherry I see my first thought Aquami I noticed you said Highland Park 18 my first thought is we could be in that sort of tiny smoke Highland Park kind of zone I, here. I have a dirty bit of dirt in this almost suffer, so I thought of the algae. Oh, yeah, because Craig Ellicky can be mistaken, but let's, uh, mistaken for smoke as well, or slightly peated. Let's just focus on what we're getting and see. So, Probably some ex bourbon in here as well. It's not like it's not like Glen Turret, mm. is it? It's not like massively sherried. It's sort of a mellow soft apple. Mellow soft apple. Bad. See this empty glass. It's almost, uh, bubble gum floral. Bubble gum gum floral. I mean, I'm getting a touch of matchsticks. Highland Park is. Normally, isn't that more orange rind type of thing? I don't remember. Am I getting I'm, that? I'm getting a uh, sort of seaweed brine, but very subtle. Seaweed brine? But it's it's because it's, I mean, I remember Abel Hour 18 was a very clean sherry. This is, this is not clean. But it's not that dirty either. No, it's somewhere between Abel Hour and... The Ben Ben Nevis is dirtier. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Maybe a dust of copper, not very metallic, but just a feel of softness. A touch of that's right. You wrote down copper. An absolutely beautiful mellowness. Now copper, copper could be Craig Ellicky, because Craig Ellicky has those worm tubs which do tend to give it a coppery metallic finish, which I quite like. Okay, let's try the, the water version. Oh, hang on. The nose is a bit brighter now. Often happens when the water's added. Yeah, deeper, richer. It's musty. Uh, more of a green apple just very thin, without much Almost water. A, a lime sour. Little lime sour. There's a little bit of the old oak about it, even with that much water. 
I'm trying to wait for the finish to see if we've got any of the copper thing that Deepa said. The fear that got me from the oak, but in the ice fear. I think we can go straight to full strength because it wasn't that. It, it wasn't strong. Sometimes with cask strength, you know, you put the water in, it's still strong. Flat pepper. Oh, that's quite rich. I've got a, quite a bit of vanilla on it coming back now. There's sherry and vanilla going on here. My first input that is all of salt and beef that are 55, but no, it cannot be fun. My input is quite a bit of pepper on the finish. It is quite punchy. But it's fun now. Upper, not in. Aren't you getting dark red fruits though? It was not impressive, but then it disappears to quickly. I'll probably be so I'm more. So I'll have you get more. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on in here. Even though it's 43, 46%. There's quite a lot of variation. And actually, I'll just jump to the picture because I've noticed as I as I paint them and I'm adding more and more detail. When I add little details that you can see in here, it's always ended up being an older whiskey. As you get these little fine, delicate details that that come out, the more that you concentrate on it. I am actually impressed. Why you both ducky? I could get all those sudden complicated. It does taste a little thin. I mean, we know the viscometer says it's it's relatively thin. A little bit of orange. It could be Highland Park, but I'm not really picking up the smokiness of no, Highland Park. I'm not. But I'm um, getting some. It made me a soy type of dirtiness. But you see, now when I go into this glass. It's definitely more on the earthy tobacco leaf, but it's more like a heavy char level than actual peat. Not sad. The dust of soy rather than burnt. It's a not touch of soy. Um, a bit musty, so mm. maybe leaning towards older. Mm. So maybe uh, 18 years. Oh, how are we doing for time? I think we compare to... I'm going to add a little bit of this to add a touch of water to my other one. Okay, another taste. Then we'll go into some comparisons because I'm curious. I like this a lot. But I think I like it more than you. But I like Highland Park more as well. And it's in that direction. I, I don't like it. But I'm um, just, just the bottom of the second half. It's not there anymore. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm getting a slight fizzy. It's quite, it's a little sharp pepper. Like it rolls into a, a more sour. It's like sweet to start, more vanilla. Mm. Then it goes more of the sherry nuttiness into fine pepper, which could be European oak on the back of it. Okay, better or worse? Hmm. More apple. And thinner. It is cleaner, more bourbon, more sherry. Mm. I, I'm, I go for this one, I think. Craig Ellicky 17. Could it it's be more a metallic? Yeah. It's warmer. More metallic. I think you're right, it's probably more ex bourbon. Oh, time's up. No. Oh, we're not ready. Do you think that could be Craig Ellicky? Compared to this, it's hard to tell. I think it's more a dirty, maybe because of sherry. That as well. Okay, I know the time's up. Um, better or worse? I prefer the right. most, but more smoke. Now, that is, wow. it's, it's also 50%. But this is a 
dirty long morn sherry. I smoke. That was. I actually didn't mean to give that one yet because it's fifty percent. Yeah, more sherry. That that one. It's softer, mellow. Let's go back. Nah, it's very weak. I thought that one is weak, then. That was a mistake to go 50% because I have others. Okay, one more. Better or worse? Another dirty sherry. I'm just going to put a gum. A bath we go for that one because it's different than it do soft. Okay, go back. One more. One more taste. Better or worse? Mmm. This is better for me. Uh uh, go for this. I thought Deepa might. That is your favourite. Uh, mm. Springbank 13. I think that's better. For you, you prefer this? Yeah. I think it's. I think there's more going on. I want to go. I want to go up higher. Right. Um. <laughs> For me, it's only you. No, you've said it's better than this. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. I, I don't like it that much. I prefer to do I'm looking top shelf. I'm going top shelf. I like it a lot. Right. Um, what can it be? Let's go over to the spreadsheet. What? Oh, what do you think the ABV is? Oh, you think it's 46? I originally thought it was 43, but I think you might be right. Um, if it's 46, it could be one of many. Could be Highland Park 25, surely not. Uh, Anok, Aaron, a couple of Bal, quite a few Bal Blairs. Oh, look, there's so many things it could be. So many in here. The Craig Ellicky is in there, of course. A bunch of spring banks. Oh no, look how many there are. Um, yesterday, I was fairly convinced this was Highland Park 18. But, but I think Deepa might be right on the ABV. It is 46. I thought it could be lower. Fun. <laughs> I definitely like it more than you. <laughs> 46 percenter. Mm. I thought I, 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 I was key. I'm not like it anymore. You, you are or you're not? I'm not. After so I think it's got messed up because it's very delicate. It yeah. needs me to get on its own to appreciate. It could be tomato eight. Tom <laughs> I said tomato. <laughs> this is Oloroso Sherry. Could be. It could be Craig Ellicky. Could be Aaron. Is that is that a possibility? Could it be Bunner? Um could it be forty three? There's a, there's a Bal Blair 99, Anok. Uh, <laughs> any chance it's Glendronic or Old Pulteney or a 33 year old Vega? Do you think this is young or old? I think it's around 18 because um, it's not very old. Loch Lomond? Okay. You can't beat it. The thing is, I've been influenced by you, and I'm thinking this is Craig Ellicky 23. I'm I'm and I'm not that impressed with today. So I prefer not. I hope not. No, it cannot be. I don't know no, about this, but maybe I'm not very keen at the mind. So I may go for this. It could be the tomato. Oh, I may go for this. 
right? Well, which one is it? No, you have to decide. I'll go to the chat while you decide. I hope it's not a Dalmore. If you like it, Phil. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Lake. It is. It cannot be. I'm curious to taste the older one. Uh, oh, not sure which one you're talking about, Aquami. Glendronic 15. Uh, okay, there goes the HP theory. Yeah, Aquami, I know. I thought the same. Anok 24. Hixie 771. I think that's a new name. Welcome aboard. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's Aaron 14. No mention of fruitiness. Yeah, it's not that fruity. So... That Glen Glendronic 15 is possibly 20 years old. That's true. Hang on, you've still got three up. Right, pick, pick one or be disqualified. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, Deep is going for tomato. Here we go. Ready for the reveal? You really don't like it that much? It's not. I love the first half. It's I like beautiful. It. I like it impressive. That it just appears. 46%. It is. Hang on. Eight. It's either eight or 18. 18 years old. It could be the tomato. It only cost $83. I've had this for you. you prefer this? I did always say that tomato was a bit Highland Parky for me, right? It is a Highland and it is from tomato. I think that means Deeper gets the fireworks. Did anyone else get it? Ooh, that has been a long... And I have to put it in, but it's not... Oh, I've got enough. Tomatin 18, this was only $83? That's a pretty good value for money. November, uh, November 2018. But this has been in for a price. very long time. Better that for the cheaper price. Mmm, I don't think there's anything cheaper. Apart of this. I think the the Kilcarran was about the same price. Now, let's see. Oloroso Sherry Casks, does that mean it was fully matured? I thought it was um, a bit of a bit of both. Matured in oak casks and first well hang on what's oak casks is that ex-bourbon and first fill oloroso sherry butts is there any other information what's that a hint of dark chocolate with a citrus bite before sustained sweet and delicate dry finish well i think I think that is an amazing price. How much is tomato tomatin eighteen now yeah, though? It's just a five. I don't know if I know. I mean do you uh, go. We've obviously shared it's quite a lot of this. Two and a half years ago. I bought the first twenty four butters. It wasn't the first twenty four, but it must have been soon after. Because we released our first video in November. And so this must have been the post video shopping spree. It is a little bit Highland Park like. Yeah, oh yes. That is the part, a bit tomato, but that's sort of soft and mellow. That's both tomato, it's good. Yeah. Mm. It's beautiful. Just, just in case I had poured the Highland Park 21 <laughs> and it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? But I thought you'd give me... Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's in a different league. Oh, that just like bills, doesn't it? I cannot ever describe it's just that for Yeah. But it but they're not a million miles away in terms of the profile. I'm presuming it's ex bourbon and sherry barrels mixed. I would swear there's a puff of smoke in that, but there is definitely some dirtiness. Mm. Is tomatin peated in any level? <laughs> okay. Now, considering that Highland Park is, I don't know, a three hundred dollar <laughs> bottle, this at a third of the price is probably half as good. ABV. Of what? But if you give me a one. Oh. The Highland Park ABV is about the same. 47.5. This is a weaker. Okay, let's go back. Springbank. Springbank 18. No, 13. Uh, 13. Okay, I'm still arguing it should be up here somewhere. Oh, the Deanston 18. Okay, maybe maybe about here. It's about 30. It's all of it. I'm just at the pool. It's always there. <laughs> it's always there. It's always there. If this is slightly dirty, this is very very dirty. <laughs> well, good. Congratulations, and, and Deepa. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> it's actually beautiful. It's just stick it off. It's amazing. Okay. Um, I'm, I want someone to quickly look. Let's see. Total Wine says $100. That is a fantastic $100 bottle. Mm. If you like Highland Park, like, you know, Balanced Sherry. I want... I mean, other dollars. Better than this. Well, the Craig Elegy 17 is about 130 that was something similar. And the Deanston, now that's not sherried. I'm looking for something sherried. The Springbank, about 130 also. Um, that's no. a good for money. For a sherried, balanced, more mainstream type of whiskey, that is a fantastic price. Mm, yes. It's a little thin. It tastes. I would say it tastes like it's forty three percent in terms of the viscosity. Not necessarily because the first impression, but I got I said, oh, it might be fifty five. That's true. You did say that. Okay, let's go to the chat. See what people think. Right, who got it? Um, I'm looking to see. Anyone? Anyone? Dis Jimmy like disqualifying disqualifying my wife will get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Deepa. Not me. I fired wired wide, Jimmy like. Ah, Deepa is the sniper champion, Watchman. You are right. Still haven't had the Tomatin 18 yet. Yeah, good value, Tim. That's true. I I've never heard of the people. Yeah, Watchman is saying, but you did also pick Anok. <laughs> I had a sample set of Tomatin and wasn't crazy about any of them. I can't recall if the 18 was in the set, though. Yeah, I, I'm just saying... I National do. Parks artists. I must admit, we've tried the, the younger ones, like the, the 12 and the 15, and we are like, it's good, but we wouldn't buy another yeah, bottle. But, but I have to say, I've been... My, my, my sister... It's a, oh, sorry, my sister, I mean, the... The manager of Dr. Mandy. Yeah, Deepa's sister was at a, at a partly whiskey fair and from Singapore. In Singapore. And he came to South Africa. He came to San Francisco, Francisco at the whiskey shop for a tasting. And I, I met Sean for the first time. And that's where we met Sean. Yeah. And so we got we got some samples from, from that. And we actually had a full bottle of the 12. So over there, I give it a sample of a fat daddy. For all, I mean, oh, I think it was the 25-year-old. Oh, it was so good yeah. spotted. Um, 
Klaus, oak casks equals refill bourbon. That makes sense. Okay. Um, we did say it's, you know, a mix of bourbon sherry. Mm. Uh, a quick look at whiskey base, $64 in the Netherlands. Uh, sorry, euros in the Netherlands. Gigi, did you get it? Did you get it again? Whiskey Lovers Society, oxidization setting in. Not sure what you mean. You mean in this bottle? Could be. But this is this has uh, been filled to here from an early pour fresh from the bottle. So these bottles have been very consistent. So I'm not worried about that. Maybe in there though, I know what you mean. If that's what you mean. Uh, Tony, let's see. Oh yeah, we did that one. Donna Pass, think Tomatin and the Loch Lomond are still the lowest price non-chill filtered 46 percenters in uh, at 18 years old in the US. Yeah, that makes that that makes sense. That sounds about right. Bowmore 18 is really cheap here. Sadly, it's also shite. <laughs> Jimmy Leg, we still got Bowmore 18. It's still in it's still in the mix, waiting to show up. I have a confession about Bowmore 18. We bought it at Costco with two other bottles. This is two and a half years ago, and when I got home, I realised the receipt had only charged for two bottles. So technically we got Bowmore 18 for free. Now I did phone up Costco and said, I got this bottle and it wasn't paid for. Can I pay you? And they said, can you come back in so that we can do it? I said, no, can I pay you over the phone? I'll give you my credit card. And they were like, no, you have to come back in. I must admit, I didn't actually go back in. Right, Pulsegraph. You're sure it's better than Springbank 11 on your shelf? The Spring, the Springbank 11 Sotern. I like it more. It's, it's a bit weird in that it is very powerful, not that enjoyable by itself. I'm not sure about that. And have you try it again after the show? Okay, maybe you'll see the tomatin below after the sh after when next week's show comes up. Um, I think it's good as a something that you mix with something else, like another springbank. But it, good point, yes. Klaus, tomatin distillery does produce peated whiskey, so there's a possibility there's a bit of peat in there. Right, so tomatin does run peated whiskey. Um, Kaboka. I've definitely got some sign. Yeah. Jerry Miller. G so Gigi. I know we've been rambling a bit here. Uh, let me see. But Gigi, you get to pick top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, fill side. Let's see how we're doing. The Tomatin set I had was 12, 15 and 18 samples in it, Jimmy Like, Okay, fair enough. I mean, they're not, they're not amazing, but for the price. Anuj. I was one of the folks who got your free samples. Hey, uh. <laughs> congratulations, Anuj. Let's see. Oh, that's right. You got the ones that Pooja brought over so from don't, Singapore. Don't you prefer spare of 15? Right, KWM doing a tomatin tasting. $35. Worth it. Gigi, fill side, bottom shelf, under the blue spring bank. So all <laughs> the way over here. I think we go... Let's go this one. Right. Uh, it's okay. Not that one then. Oh, the pen is missing. It's in a different place. This is going to be bottle number one hundred and eighty, and another one picked by Gigi. Gigi, you were in the Green Welly shop. Oh yes, we were there, do you? Three years ago, we were there because we weren't into whiskey. And I remember thinking, look at all these stupid people paying so much money for a bottle of whiskey. And I thought the Green Welly shop was just this like cheesy tourist shop. But see, we've got to go with that fish and chip shop. Yeah, we let... No, fuck that, it's like across the street. The fish and chip shop opposite. Is good. Wow. Now we're talking about a shop in Scotland on the way up to um, Ben Nevis direction. 
I've been there a bit of a buffet <laughs> with the distillery. Right. Is it a bourbon? You never know. No. Sort of some big bubbles, though. I wonder what we're getting here. What's it going to be for Sunday? Let's see what everyone else is saying while Deepa has a taste. You have a taste while I, I finish up the chat. Donna Pass, tomato 12 has a weird flavour that I don't care for. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's the right price for a Bowmore, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, that's good. Anuj, like the 15 as a daily drinker. Might get the 18, it's about 82 around these parts. Well, I think it's worth it. I think we could just about get a few samples on the sharing self shelf for Tomatin 18. Is this better or worse? I need this like a sip. Hmm. I think I'm with the tomato. Right. <laughs> Come back on Sunday and see. Oh. But the new one, the second half is there. But the ease, the first half is worth it. It's for the second half of this one. <laughs> Bit of pre judging going on. Right. 180 bottles down. Thanks everyone for watching. We will see you on Sunday. I have a good fire about you, Gigi. Oh yeah, good point. Gigi. Fireworks. <laughs> uh, are we done? See you Sunday.